Boy, oh boy. All right, Anthony, thank you. 434, more breaking news. Gunfire erupting at a Bronx subway station. The violence eventually spilled out onto the street, and this morning one teen is dead, another is in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Hughes live in Williamsbridge. Janice. Good morning, Ken. Yeah, we're told this all started in the mezzanine level of the Burke Avenue station just before 1030 last night. And this morning, investigators are still out here trying to piece together exactly what happened. Now, those two victims, both just 17 years old. Now, one of them was shot in the hip. The other was shot multiple times in the head, arm and shoulder. Both were rushed to Jacoby Medical Center. Uh, the one who was shot multiple times, unfortunately, did not make it. The other team is in serious but stable condition this morning. Now we're told the suspect fled the scene and police have not arrested anyone yet. But we do know investigators have been um, reviewing surveillance video from nearby stores. Authorities are trying to figure out exactly what led up to this deadly encounter. And people in this area say they're devastated. Violence like this continues to happen, especially to people so young. I just don't understand what's going on. Why is this world so corrupt? Why is people hurting people? I just, it's just sad. It's, it's really sad. This is sad. A child? Like, it, it, it's sad. It's just sad. Well, this is the third homicide this year to happen on a train or in a subway station, and uh, that's one more than we had this time last year. Live in the Bronx, Janice U, Channel 7. I